So let's have a look at paper color and styles. So if you have a blank white background, you can actually manage the color of the paper and that is located here under view, under paper color. So I can click on that and then choose one of these colors. Now you can't go outside of these colors, so we have to pick which one works best for us. So I might pick, let's go with this one here and you could pick anything that you like. The second thing is the paper style and this is particularly useful for students that have stylus. And the reason for that is that when we're writing, we wanna write nice and neat on the lines. Now these lines are really small, but we could pinch and zoom in to write on those lines, or we could choose to go maybe for this one where the lines are a bit wider. If we're using grid paper, for example, we can choose these grids. So we have nice little grids here and we can click and change them to larger grids. And the thing that's really cool as well is that if we're using something like the lines, let's say I could write on the lines, I could then turn it off and all my work will be nice and neat. So let's have a go at drawing something nice and simple. So I've got my grid paper here, which is going to help me. I'm going to come here up to draw and um, yeah, let's, I'm going to stay with this little rainbow pen here that I've got going. And what I'm going to do is we're going to draw a, a star using two triangles. Okay, nice and simple. But the grid paper is going to make this so much easier. So I'm going to choose a point. I'm going to go from here and I'm going to draw down to this point. And then I'm going to join them up here with this point over here. So let's draw a line to there and another line to that one. Okay, and then we're going to draw another triangle, but the other way around. So I'm going to go from this point here over to here. So let's draw that and then I'm going to come down to about halfway, so about there. So we draw a nice straight line and a nice straight line there. And there's something that looks somewhat like a star on our screen. You can have a go at drawing anything that you want, any type of shape or pattern using the grids or the lines and see what you can come up with.